Hello there. Today we are going to take a deep dive and look a little bit closer at the stock market just to answer some of those questions and get you going if you've been afraid or haven't wanted to drop some money into the stock market. Uh, so let's take a closer look at what it is and some strategies that you might be able to employ to make that cold hard in Neo Point Cash. So Neopets stock market has been around since the early days of the website. You can find it in the games room. There is no location as far as I am aware of it being on the map, but you can get to it um, pretty simple from the games room. You can also just search for stock market in the sidebar. If you're a premium member, you can also get access the stock market pretty easily with this handy little pop out that comes with a premium subscription. So what is the stock market? <laughs> so the Neopets stock market somewhat closely resembles what it's like to trade in the real world stock market with a few of those safety rails in place. So wh what does it mean to, 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 to buy a stock? So essentially when you are buying a stock in a company, you're buying a little piece of that company in hopes that that company will turn around and make you a profit. In the world of Neopets, the companies really don't matter. Um, other companies influencing each other doesn't matter and real world things happening around Neopia also doesn't matter. It's all just kind of a computer system that makes the prices go up and down. So at the end of the day, part of it really is just luck of what stocks you pick up and what companies you invest in. So let's quickly break down exactly what we're seeing in this table, just so we have all the terms defined. So we're just going to look at my, my top company that I have. So there is an image icon that's just for visual interest. We have a ticker, which is a, a four letter symbol that is a shortened name of whatever company is in question. The open price means that it's is what the price was when the market opened. The opening price does vary um, compared to the real stock market because the stock market in Neopets never truly closes. It's just on that 30 minute cycle of updating. It updates on the 28 minute and the 58 minute. The current price is what you mostly are going to be paying attention to because that is the price in which you can invest in a company. The change just shows the difference between the opening price and the current price. So we can see we had a positive positive one change over the last 30 minutes versus the COFL has had a negative two neo point change over the last 30 minutes. Quantity shows how many individual shares that you have acquired from this company. Your paid column shows how much you paid in to get those stocks in the first place. And then the market value just takes into consideration what the current price is compared to how many shares you currently have. So I paid in, you know, 61K for these shares. The total value is only currently 52K. So I would essentially lose 14.75% if I were to choose to sell this stock right now. So that would be a loss, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to hang on to that. Well, let's take a closer look at the guide. We'll start with the Daily Neopets guide. They also have a little overview on what is a stock market and how does it work. But when we're looking specifically at Neopets, there is some specific rules and limitations. So one of the specific limitations is that you can only buy a maximum of 1,000 stocks per day. So some people generally just choose to throw all their 1,000 stock into one company for the day, invest in a different company the next day, or you can do something a little to diversify your portfolio a little bit more where you split your stock and like put 500 in one company and 500 in another. The other limit is that the company's current price value has to be at 15. That is the absolute minimum that you can buy into a company is if its current price is at 15. If you want to buy into a company that's like at 20, 25, cool, you can still do that. But as far as maximizing your profits, most people stick for that 15. There is an exception to this. Um, if you participate in Battleground of the Obelisk, there are boons or perks that are associated if your team wins and you have the potential to get a perk that will allow you to buy stocks for 10 neo points or greater instead of that usual 15. Really nice perk that only is for Awakened and Sway and the Thieves. But back to the stock market. So the big question is, you know, what, what should I buy every day? There, there's a few resources that you can use. You can either just kind of look at your current portfolio. You can go to the find stocks and click here for a full list. And it, this just shows you what everything is doing for the day and you want to be focused 
on this current column and look for something that's at 15. Every 30 minutes, these numbers refresh. So if you don't see anything you like right out the gate when you're doing your dailies, um, you can wait for that next 30 minute window for the current price changes to hit. The other big note about opening and closing costs is that it never goes below six. So that is one of the comfortable things about the Neopets stock market in particular is that you can never go bankrupt and completely lose all your money that you've put into a stock. Back in the day, that used to be the case, but these days you don't have to worry about that. So this really is a, a, a quote unquote safe, passive, a strategy to earn those neo points. Another option is on a lot of guides, you'll find a link to this specific bargain stocks list. And this just has a more clear sorted view of what you can and can't buy. So we're just seeing like what the what cheap st stuff is. Unfortunately, you can't do the penny stocks method of just buying all low because you do have to buy in at that 15 neo point price. But currently I only have two options. And that's the Neopian auction house and the shop wizard. I do have a little bit of stock in both of these already, but if I wanted to buy into this stock, let's say I'm going to, I'm going shop wizard today. If I click this link, it'll show me a little overview of the company. It'll also show me other competitors. It's, it's just extra fluff information. This has no weight on what this shop wizard company is going to eventually do and if i want to continue on i can just type in how many shares i buy my strategy generally is just to do the thousand into one company per day you do have the option like if you saw that we had the auction house as another option we could do 500 and 500 for each of those or you can go down as low as one if you want to piecemeal a bunch of stocks but that that is entirely up to you the most simple way is to just pick a company at 15 and throw a thousand oh dang, i need money to do that <laughs> pick a company and throw some money in it so luckily with the new daily quest system it is pretty easy to get 15k in your pocket for daily so if you either do your daily quest log um, if you're doing trudy surprise every day you can generally get a pretty good payout for that these days you, you can be wandering around the site and very very quickly get that that money for free to to purchase a stock so i pulled a little bit of money out of the bank i'm going to buy these shares and it will redirect you to your overall portfolio page from here you get a little more detail to see like okay so i've bought four thousand shares of this aavl and you know it's, it's not a good time to sell right now because my percent change of you know how much i put in versus how much profit i could get if i sold them today wouldn't be beneficial to me if i did have a stock that was performing well and i was ready to dump it then you would just open this little window you can see how many sh times you've bought into shares of this company and you can choose how many shares you sell some people will just share sell all all of what they have others will use a split sharing method meaning they'll just sell like okay let's say it hit 45 I'm like okay I don't know if this is gonna keep going up or going down I'm gonna only sell half and see what what happens over the next few days because you know we've seen stocks hit 60 80 200 so if, if you want to play the market a little more accurately actively in that way and actively monitor what a specific stock is doing in hopes that it'll continue climbing. You don't have to sell all the shares. There, there is one little note about selling shares. It will cost you 20 neo points <laughs> to sell your shares and Nigel pockets that money. Nigel is the face of the stock market. He's a little slick looking chia man, but that's really about it when it comes time to sell your shares. Because what you're looking for, and unfortunately I don't have any good companies right now, but there's a few points that you, you want to look for um, when you're getting ready to sell. So if you're playing it on the safe side, waiting for the current price to be 45 neo points is a great way to just boom immediately double your money another point that people wait to sell at is 60 and that is about a 300 percent return on your initial investment which is a great profit and other people they they sometimes will just throw money in a company and wait years and wait for it to get to that insane price of you know 200 neo points a share versus you know the 15 neo points per share they initially bought it in and that really really is your your personal preference your your comfort levels what goals you're trying to achieve by investing in the stock market are really things that only you can answer those questions but as far as like an easy set it and forget it passive income stream stock market is for you like that is a great way to use some of that extra money you get just from doing your 
your regular dailies. So one other interesting little website is there is a neostocks.info website that does show historical data for all of the Neopets stocks. So if you do want to try to see like, okay, what, what popped off a month ago? What, what looks like it has a pretty good increase, decrease. If you want to get into those numbers, this information is available to you. And if you want help picking out like what stocks might be good or look interesting to you, um, this is another uh, utility that you have available thanks to the magic of internet and adult Neopets fans. <laughs> another resource you might not be aware of is there is specifically a stock tips Neo board. If that is something is, is of interest to you, you can see what other people are buying. You can see other suggestions or just talk about the stock market if that's something you want to do, but it is a fairly active community that likes to talk about all things Neopets stocks. If, if you're interested in that. So there is one avatar associated with the stock market. So you get this cool looking Neo deck avatar. And in order to get this avatar, you need to have paid in at least 1 million Neo points into invested stocks and look at this, my portfolio page. I was able to get this avatar last year, just looking at your, your paid column right here under holdings. You can see I've dipped below since I've sunk, since sold some, some stocks, but that is what number needs to get to 1 million. That takes about two two months and six days of consistently putting in 15k in order to get that avatar so it does take a little bit of, of chipping away every single day if you're after that avatar so you can see I have a pretty full portfolio. Um, I subscribe to the strategy of buying in at 15 Neo points per day. And I do try to keep my portfolio as diverse as possible. So some places I have loaded up where I have quite a few stocks in one company, but more often than not, you'll just see a thousand shares inside a company. And that's kind of where I am with the stock market. I do check in with the stock market every day. It's one of those things that's pretty easy to forget if, if you're not thinking about it, but it is a great way to make some passive income using chump change and some money that you just set it and forget it. It does take a long time to see some returns from the stock market. I know some people have made millions and billions um, in in the Neopets stock market, but I'm, I'm more of a conservative player in that regard. So my personal feelings on the stock market is, you know, I'm an avatar hunter primarily, so I was really working on this just to get that avatar. Thought too is that it, it is a good way to just kind of throw some money somewhere and see what it does without putting too much stake in it. Like I have other more active ways that I enjoy using to make my Neo points every day versus, you know, it is nice to kind of throw some money in here, set it and forget it. But there's also that consistent return we get from, from bank interest. And that, that's something that I always think about is, you know, I have a 12.5 daily guaranteed return on just my bank account being big. So that that's a little more safe and secure to me rather than the quote unquote gamble of the stock market. But it's fun to diversify what, what you're doing in Neopets and, and trying out little things all over the site, you know, just like you might play the lottery every day and hope that you get a, a big hit on the lottery. I think that really covers the basics of the stock market there. There's not a lot on the surface uh, to really dive into. It's a pretty straightforward buy your shares every day as part of your dailies flow. There's opportunities if you want to dive in a little more um, in the community you cannot talk about reddit or discord on neopets.com never forget yeah that's about all i have to say about stock market let me know if you have any other extra tips or tricks that you've picked up over the years otherwise i will catch you next time bye